Hey guys, welcome back to another review. Today we're checking out the Veil's red and green Miata. So these are two hazy IPAs as expected from the Vale. Uh, we have the green Miata and the red Miata. These are two from the series of Miata. They have a green, a red, a black, or is that the Ferrari ones? That's the Ferrari ones, yeah. There's a blue Miata. Yeah, there's a pink one too. We're gonna dive in, compare these two, and kind of see where they sit. I feel like there's one that was like, specifically car named, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's, there's a, a Bugatti one or something like that. For some reason they have like certain car series like Miata's beers named after the car, Miata. Um, they love cars there. Yeah. Also the Ferraris, are, cause, yeah, you're right. There's a black Ferrari. There's a black Ferrari and a I'm red pretty sure Ferrari? pink. Or yellow Ferrari. Yellow Ferrari and then a pink Ferrari was one of them. All right, so. On the left and your right, we have the green Miata, and then in the veil glasses, we have the red. So I guess let's start off with the green and take a sniff test and see what we got. Mm. Oh man, that smells really good. Tropical notes, it's like... Soft and pillowy smelling. Mm -hmm. Again, with that oats and that juice and the cashmere-ness. Nice, uh, nice head on this one. More micro bubbles than this one, it looks like. Definitely uh, looks a little bit like these have bigger bubbles in the red Miata than, than this one. The colors are slightly different. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but uh, this one's a little bit more peachy colored. This is more like orange versus peach. Yeah, this is like orange juicy. Let's dive into this one. This smells like a typical Vale IPA. I mean, it's very, it's got that like kind of OD character, that cashmere hop kind of like pillowy soft this character to the to the aroma anyway. Gonna go on a limb and say that it's gonna taste exactly the same as it smells pretty much. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, All well right. cheers it. It's got a real soft mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all the typical tropical fruits, fruit notes that you generally get in these kinds of hazy IPAs. But it is, it has a nice kind of soft feel at the end. Yeah, it's like a, a gentle IPA. Yeah. 6% this one is. Uh, this one is also 6%, so I don't know, maybe they're the same beer, who knows? Maybe there's something to do with the alcohol content, like all the Miatas are 6%. That's possible. All the Ferraris are 8% or whatever. Could be. That one's tasting pretty good. Let's try the red Miata and see how this one compares. Now the color is definitely different, so we know it's not the same exact beer. No, this one's definitely different. Yeah. This one's more citrusy versus more of a soft tropical fruit feel. Yeah, I feel like you're right. This one's probably gonna be a little bit more hard, uh, not, not harsh, but like a little bit more forward on the citrus mm -hmm. notes, I guess. Maybe. A little less soft, perhaps. Bitter. This might be a bit yeah, more maybe more bitter. Okay, well, let's dive into this one to see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, it's definitely not as pillowy soft as the green, but it has still some of the same notes that I yeah. get out of the green. Like it's very similar. There's a certain yeah. like there's a certain softness with the green for sure, but I don't think it's enough of a difference to pick one or the other to pick one over the other. That's correct, yeah. Right? They're both really good. They both have kind of the same notes and standout characters. I really like how like you can tell this is a beer in a series because they're simil they're they're quite similar, but you can definitely pick out certain notes that make it a different Their beer. own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's cool that like yeah. they're, they're all 6% and they all taste very similar, but there's like minor differences involved here and there that you can pick out, like little nuances almost, you know? That's cool. It makes you kind of look forward to like trying different versions within the Miata series because, yeah, you, know, you wanna keep trying. I kinda wanna try the blue one. Yeah, so do I, and if there's another color, I'll try it too. <laughs> yeah, we'll try those. For our viewers that don't know, that might live out of state or something like that and haven't heard of the Veil, they're kinda like, uh, they hold the same sort of 
echelon status as, as something like, I don't know, Dancing Gnome or uh, yeah, they're The Alchemist. That, yeah. they're, they're within that realm. Well, also the Veil's been around for years, but they kind of started, the, they didn't start it, but within like the Virginia area, they definitely planted their foot as like a hazy IPA beer maker. Yeah right in its infancy, so they kind of have a following. Yeah, they don't say on the can like when they were, um, when it was, uh, the brewery was created or anything like that, but I mean, they were, it's, a, it's been a while. They've yeah. been around, they've been around the block. They ain't new kids on the block. I don't know if this if this series do they did they release this series year round or is it yeah, like a certain I mean, time period or what's I think a certain time period for a different style of Miata. So like the greens release during a certain time, the reds release oh, okay. during a certain time, but they continue releasing the Miata series throughout the year. Cool. Yeah. Well, maybe when we're down there, what next month? Mm -hmm. This uh, month. This month. Yeah, so we're going to go back down there to the Vale for their, what was the event? Dark the Days. Dark Days, yeah. Um, and we're going to vlog it, see how that turns out. That seemed to get a lot of views. People seem to really like that video. Uh, so we're going to see if there was any changes to the event. Last time it was kind of touch and go there. We had a lot better success at uh, Triple Crossing, getting actual beer in a timely fashion. So maybe this time it'll be different. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or craft beer event coverage, be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.